Hey everybody, Brian Kern here again for another guitar lesson. Thanks for joining me. Sorry I haven't posted in a while. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'd like to thank uh, all the new subscribers and all the positive feedback. Glad you're all enjoying the lessons. Uh, please pass me along to your friends, you know. Um, I love teaching and uh, glad you guys are all finding this stuff helpful. Uh, so yeah, thanks, thanks a lot. So today, more Sunhouse. Uh, this is his Preaching Blues. He recorded various versions of this live in studio. Uh, this is the 1930 version. And uh, if you're familiar with that version, you know it's a really rough recording, especially in the beginning. Um, so usual disclaimer, I don't claim this is 100% accurate, uh, but I think it's pretty close and uh, it's what I'm hearing. And I think it's uh, uh, at least, if nothing else, close enough to get you into the tune get you working through it yourself and if you hear different things by all means you know follow your ear so um yeah so today we're doing it in open d uh preaching blues um on the original recording it's closer to open e but uh for the sake of the lesson we'll just do it in open d um so i don't have to capo on two that then i kind of run out of space up here and it's just easier to see so if you want to tune to the recording, um, my suggestion would be, especially if you have a 12 fretter, tune to open D, capo on one, and adjust the strings uh, to the recording. So, but that's just, a, that's me. You can figure out how to do it uh, however you like. Um, I am wearing banjo picks. Um, I'm only doing that really mainly because I got a, a bit of a sore spot on my index finger. So. Uh, that's really the main reason why I'm wearing the banjo picks for this particular song, although I do wear them a lot when I play Resonator, but personal preference stuff. So let's dive into the tune. Um, if you're just starting on slide, uh, definitely recommend checking out my intro to slide lesson in the description um, or any introductions to slide. You know, just get used to playing slide before you tackle this would be my suggestion, but that's up to you. Uh, so we're in open D, so in case you're not familiar, uh, let's get there first. Um, easy tuning to get to from standard, sixth string goes down to D, fifth string stays A, fourth string down, or fourth string stays the same, third string down to F sharp, second string down to A, and first string down to D. So we got D, A, D, F sharp, A. So, yeah, let's get into it. I think this is one of the coolest licks that Sunhouse ever played, so I'm excited to teach this one. Um, so, the very first part, and, and we're just learning what I played in the intro there uh, of the video. So, the very first part, you'll see I, I'm starting on the 12th fret of the first string. Um, I try to only use the amount of slide I need, try not to cover all the strings, uh, just to, you know, just a little bit of the slide to grab that first string. Cuts down on some excess noise. We're gonna slide into that note from around 10. You know, uh, excuse me, first, the little pickup. Now that's not very discernible in the recording, but it helps me get into the groove, you know? And I think if you count that off, one, two, three, four, and one, and then the and of a one, I guess. And one, and two, and kind of helps me count it to teach it, stuff like that. So. But you can just dive right into the, 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 the main riff, too, if you want. But starting it with that will kind of help me give you an example so we can play together through the rest. But uh, for the sake of starting, uh, let's just start there on 12. We'll talk about this in a minute. Um, 12 fret, um, sliding into it from about 10. We're going to hit that three times. And the third time, we're going to trail out of that note and down the neck. So let's try and play that together. We'll start with the up down. I'm going to count one measure. We're going to get one, two, three, four, and one, and two, and. Kind of do that, right? I don't know if I'm counting right. I'm not a scholar, <laughs> you know, when it comes to, to uh, uh, rhythms and counting and music theory mostly. Uh, I'm pretty much self-taught on that sort of stuff. So if I'm counting wrong, 
my apologies, but uh, I do think it will help you get through the lesson to get started. You know, once you get going off that first lick, it's really all feel, and you just want to listen to the recording and, and try and play it on the guitar as best you can. But let's go ahead and start and see if we can get that um, uh, phrase together. One, try to play with me. One, two, three, four. So I'm strumming up, down, mainly just targeting that sixth string. And then, okay, let's try that again. One, two, three, four. And one more time. One, two, three, four. I think I maybe played four there, but you're getting the idea, right? One more time. One, two, three, four. Right? Getting the idea. Okay? So now I'm trailing out. I'm not losing contact with that string. I'm going to come back in and play the first string on the third fret. So I wind up with... So and that's just, you know, I can hear I'm really dragging that into the third fret, first string. So let's start with that up, down, or and one, and then try and play that lick with me, okay? And again, try not to lose contact. Don't do this. You don't want that. You want that, that full, straight up contact with that string the whole time. Let's try together. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's try one more. One, two, three, four. Okay, now. I'm letting that sixth string ring because it's not overly important that you that you cut it. Um, it's it's not really in the recording, but it's just helping us get started. You know, you can hear something. I think it's this. You know, but it's really hard to tell. Uh, so leaving that ring is up to you. Um, it, it really throughout the whole song, you'll hear these. You can chop them or you can let them ring. Whatever sound you like better. Um, I, I like it choppy, you know, if I were to, I like cutting them off, you know, so those, so those lines really sting, but you know, you could certainly, it's up to you, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's all personal preference, you know, we don't have to copy Sunhouse, we just, well, some of you might want to, but, uh, I think it's near impossible, <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's keep going here. So the next part after we leave that is, I think, one of the hardest parts of the tune. This kind of hammer with the slide. So I'm sliding in off of three, right? Open. And a downstroke. Starting around the fourth string. You can hit all of them if you want. You know. Recording to me sounds like it's a little short on the chord. Not getting the bottom end. But again, that's up to you. Uh, but it's tricky, right? So if you want, try with your finger first. Open, hammer, strike down, open chord. And you're not really concerned if that hammer really comes through. I mean, it's great if it does, uh, but it's really the rhythm that you're, you're really looking to get. to see I know so 
let's try that much from the from the very beginning. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I sometimes got to play through it up to speed to remember where I'm going here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So after that, we're just after this. We're going to tag that with a thumb on the sixth string. And that's kind of get reversing us back to that and one to start over with another lick, right? So we got. So I know it's only adding one more note, but let's take it up to there because this is when the uh, almost we're getting to that really cool lick. Um, so let's just try it up to that. So we have the the hammer, and then we're tagging open six string here. And you can you can push through it. You know, get more of the chord, but make sure the sixth string is your uh, focus note. Uh, so let's start from the top. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, four. Now, we're going to come off of that sixth string, play the open string, uh, open first string, slide into 12 and play it twice. You know, and that's why, like, bare fingers, you can kind of snap it like it sounds more on the recording, but I got pretty, I got a sore index finger. Uh, my nail broke and I've been picking on it and. You know, if I had advice for somebody learning finger style, learn how to play without fingernails so you grow calluses on your fingers. That would be some advice for you. But anyway, I digress. Uh, so yeah, we're coming off that sixth string. Ah. And hitting that 12th fret, sliding into it two times. Okay, let's go up to there from the beginning. I know these are little notes, little tiny bits and pieces, but... This is really a good way to practice. So from the top, play with me if you can. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's do that together one more time. One, two, three, four. Next phrase is open one again, sliding into the third fret on one as well. Same as before, really. So you get. Right? Coming from that sixth string after the hammer. Right? Okay. Um, Let's take it up to there. Again, we're just adding one note, so a couple times from the beginning. See how all this stuff is coming together. One, two, three, four. Okay, now the next part, let's try that one more time. One, two, Three, four. Okay, now coming from there, 
Uh, let me let me play it up to speed without thinking about it. So see what I'm doing here. Uh, <laughs> I thought so. Now that's a down up down. And try to do that direction. Don't just go something like that or you know that direction really helps you stay groovy. It can be a little as little of the guitar as much as the guitar, you know, do what sounds right to you or sounds good to you. I have a tendency to, to strike um, on the, the higher strings and target the low string with my thumb on, on the way on the way back. Down, down. Now here's the lick. Yeah. I mean, come on, isn't that the coolest? Uh, so. Uh, strum it down, up, down. Now, this is where muting out will become important. He, he plays up strum on the open one and two. You chop it. And then we're going to, two times. The second time, instead of chopping it short, and you see I'm doing that with my left hand. You hammer on the second string only. You want this string to continue to ring. So down, 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 down. See, I'm chopping everything off there. And to practice it, you can certainly let it ring. It's not a big deal. Down, down, you know, and work on muting and getting groovy with it when you get the moves down. You know, um, for the sake of the lesson. Um, first pass we'll just leave it ring and then i'll talk a little bit more about muting it out uh, so let's try, try up to there um from the beginning uh and again we're coming from uh 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 the uh um down, down. right so let's do that from the very top one hopefully i can get through it <laughs> One, two, three, four. See that? Uh, so now let's talk about muting that. Um, so we'll just take it from the down, up, down. See, I'm chopping that. And, I, and then it's staccato from there. See? That's a good exercise right there. You know, doing a... It's tough, I know, and it's hard to slow down. There's a good one. But just work through it. You'll get it. And then the, the very cool part, that's a rake. And again, cutting short, six, five, four. And I'm, if you had no thumb pick, you really want that. You don't go, it's, and then hit the fourth string again, six string on third fret, fourth string again. So. Back to. I'm sorry, you do hit the sixth string again. Uh, very cool lick. I would suggest separating that from the tune to really get that one because it reoccurs continuously through the song. So do these. But uh, you'll catch it. So I'm going to try and go through that really slow, putting in the mutes this time. And again, on your own, if the muting is troublesome, which it can be until you get all the parts, 
uh, depending on your your you know uh, uh, ability right now um, get the parts first you know get the moves down and we can be we can work on the musical aspect of it the groove and and you know uh, that sort of stuff um, you know putting the groove into it we can work on that later you know you got to have the moves down first so let's give it a try from the top one two three four It's tedious, but hey, this is cool, man. Uh, you know, it took me a long time to kind of put these pieces together because the recording is so bad. And and uh, but there are some parts in the song where that it comes through. You know, you can really hear. Um, so basically, what I'm doing is kind of assuming that on the parts that I can't hear, that sounds similar. That he's doing the same thing that you know he was doing on the parts that i can hear so anyhow enough about my process <laughs> let's try it together one more time one two three four and Sunhouse, 1930, preaching blues. We will get the rest of, uh, or at least get some of the vocal parts. Um, I, I couldn't really, you know, I'll listen to it. It's been a while since I've listened to it. Uh, if I remember, there's really no discernible pattern of, you know, how many times he does this, whether it's which fill it is. Sometimes it's both fills. Sometimes it's it's shorter. Um, and then the... Uh, I have to relearn that little kind of breakdown. Um, he changes the rhythm, I think, once or twice in the song. It becomes more like Robert Johnson's preaching blues. Uh, but uh, I'll have to go through and listen to that again. But that's a little bit down the line anyway. I'll try and complete complete this um, in little um, um, shorter, you know, bits and pieces, just like I did Crossroads and Death Letter. So uh, anyhow. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys appreciated that and, and found it helpful and, and uh, enjoy walking through it and, and uh, all that jazz. <laughs> but uh, as usual, I do give lessons via uh, webcam online, uh, in person, if you're in my area. Um, contact information is in the description and uh, also on my YouTube channel, The Fishing Musician, where you might be watching this or who knows how you stumbled across me. But please do, you know, tell me, uh, share me with your friends. And uh, um, I love all the comments and, and all that stuff. And if you have any ideas on future lessons, um, that would be great as well. Uh, so until next time, we'll see you all later. Take care.